Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good Hello. evening. Hello. How are you, people? How are you tonight? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Maria de Los Angeles. We have Jen C, Juan Antonio, Rene Alfonso. We have Miguel, Luz Buenas García. Noches. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. We have Jonathan, Lenin, Edith Lorena. We have Veronica, good Veronica evening. Maricela. Good evening. Roxana. Veronica Alegría, Gabriela, and Jessica Franco. Ready to continue? Okay. Yes. As always, right? Yes. <laughs> Remember yesterday, we were talking about food, the food that you like and the food that you dislike, right? And also, we were asking some questions, interrogatives, and using affirmatives or negatives using some or any that they were quantifiers and we were with these examples like a, i need some carrots i don't need any onions the first example i need some carrots this is affirmative or negative affirmative. it's affirmative right excellent that's good in the second one i don't need any onions affirmative or negative negative Negative. That's negative. Perfect. Then we have a question. Remember that in the question, we mentioned we can use some or any to formulate the question. For example, do you need some sugar for your coffee? How will be possible answer? Maria de Los Angeles, how will be possible answer here? Do you need some sugar for your coffee? I need... Yes. Um, oh, yes. I uh -huh. need um, some sugar coffee or, or two teaspoons. Teaspoons, right? Uh, yes, I remember you mentioned the teaspoons, like the specific okay. quantity, right? Okay, that's very good. Nice. So we have different options. If you say, yes, I need some, that's okay. Or you can specify, like you mentioned, okay. you say, yes, I need two teaspoons of sugar, like a specific okay. quantity of that. What about if it's negative? How will be negative answer, Edith? Sería, uh, thank you. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, it will be. No, I don't. And to put emphasis? Uh, any any that's perfect because now it's negative for it like an emphasis on that very good job nice no i don't need any that's right great miguel what about the next one we have another question here and it says does the baker need any flour for the cake we have an example right does the baker need any flour for the cake and we have here, like the answer, yes, he needs some, if it's affirmative, right? If it's negative, mm. no, he doesn't need any. But now, let's answer another question. If I say, does your sister need any honey? Or the waffles? Honey. Yes, honey for the waffles. Does your sister need any honey for the waffles? If it is affirmative? Uh, affirmative is yes. She needs no. Yeah, that's good. Yes, she needs. Yes, she needs some. No, she needs any. Well, some. Affirmative. But... Remember, affirmative, some. A negative, any. Yes, yes, yes. That's correct. Yes, she needs. Yes, she needs some. some. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, Miguel. Juan Antonio, continue. Now give us the negative answer. Well, is, Fisher? In this one, we have does 
like here. Does your sister need any honey for the waffles? Negative response. No, she doesn't. Uh -huh. No, she doesn't. Honey. And the verb? You need to include the verb. Need. Uh, uh, need. Uh, uh, need. Need. No, need. she doesn't need, need honey. Need some. You could say, does they need honey or to put emphasis, any. 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 That's good. And you finish there. So does your sister need any honey for the waffles? Yeah, she needs some. Or no, she doesn't need any. So it all depends, right? If it's affirmative or you have a negative manner. Now, we're going to repeat this once. Let's continue. Catherine, Rebecca, can you please read the first example? I need some carrots. I don't need any onions. Hola. Hello. ¿Me puede explicar que fíjate que no lo escuché el, este, el, el principio? Ah, okay. Ya lo estaba escuchando que mi compañera okay. estaba diciendo lo negativo. All right. Just read this one. We are going to read the examples. Vamos a leerlos. The first one. I need some oh. carrots. I don't need any onions. I need some carrots. Good. I don't need any onions. Any? Any, any onions. Very good job. Thank you. Renee, continue. Now you have the question. Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Do you need some sugar for your coffee? Thank you. Veronica Cepeda, continue. Affirmative. Yes, I need some. Very good. Thank you. Fatima Araujo, negative. Fatima? Yes. Uh, uh, no, I don't need. Any. Very good job. Thank you. Veronica Alegría. Continue. Does the baker need any flour for the cake? Does the baker need any flour for the cake? Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue. Gen C. Affirmative. Uh, yes. He uh -huh. needs some. Needs. needs. Yes, he needs. Needs. Yes, he needs some. Very good job. Thank you. Lenin, <laughs> respond the negative. Lenin, are you here? No? Roxana? Roxana Guadalupe? Sí, aquí. The negative, please. No, he doesn't no. need any. No, he doesn't need any. Very good. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. The last question, does your sister need any honey for the waffles? Gabriela? Does your sister need any honey for the waffles? Waffles, waffles. Waffles. Very good, thank you. Jessica Franco, continue, the affirmative. Yes, she needs some. Yes, she needs some. Very good job, thank you. Carlos Arturo. The negative. No, she doesn't need any. Very good job. Thank you, guys. All right, good. Now, do you have questions? Do you have any questions about this? No questions? Question, teacher. No? Okay, no. let's go ahead. <laughs> Remember that in the platform, we also have exercise. And here we have an example. Like this. It says, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Adam responds, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, and you have two options, any or some. What will be the best option? Some. Some, right? Yes. Some. Because it's not negative. That is correct. You say, let's make some. With that some, mm -hmm. you're saying that some, and we're talking about some potato salad, right? Because they're talking mm -hmm. about. So the best option will be some. Remember that here, you finish with the quantifier because you omit the repetition. Para omitir la repetición. So you can use until the quantifier. So 
that's correct to use it. Now let's go ahead with our next part. <clears throat> now let's see with our next form that it says, by the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. For example, we need to identify like what type of food is that we can eat in different countries. Like in this one, you know, we have corn tamales. We also have some plantains, fried plantains. We have rice, we have beans. Right. We have the delicious pupusas. What is this food come from? What's the origin of this food? What country? El Salvador. El Salvador, right? That is correct. How not to recognize, right? The delicious pupusas. Do you like pupusas? I think yes, everybody, right? Yes, they like it. Yes. 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 Like they are so delicious. Yes, that's really good. Veronica Cepeda, mm -hmm. what are your favorite type of pupusas? Beans, cheese, lorocos, which one? Revueltas. Mixed pupusas, yes, they are <laughs> delicious. The one that they are pork with beans and cheese, so they are good, yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and pupusas locas also, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they are beans, they look like a pizza. So they <laughs> mix everything, yeah, they are very delicious. Yeah. All right, now we have a video here about this. We're going to listen about it. Yes, Japan and Mexico eat for in the Yes, Japan and Mexico eat for breakfast. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Everything okay with the video? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Okay. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question 
in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, so as we could observe there on that platform, the video, we could check there different type of food from different countries, right? So it says, what dance, do you have dance, for breakfast? Dance, dance, now, dance, breakfast, remember, that's dance. in the morning, right? When you eat it. For example, in the United States, they usually eat eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam or jelly, right? These ones are synonyms. Do you have a new vocabulary in the US breakfast? Jam or jelly? Jam. Let me show you what is jam. I got the picture here. This is jam. Oh, okay. The one that you put on bread. Mm, it's oh. delicious on toast. Thanks. And they have different fruits, right? They have grape, yeah, like a grape, strawberry, pineapple. Do you like jam? Alea. Exactly. Yes. So you put it different, right? In different things. Uh, on the waffles, on the pancakes, people put that on French bread. You put it. Okay. Any other one? So that's normally, right? In the United States for a breakfast. Let's see in Japan. In Japan, we have fish in the morning. Can you imagine <laughs> fish for breakfast? Rice, soup. Pickles, green tea. Teacher, pickles, yes. Pickles, they are like, uh, do you remember what are cucumbers? No. No? Cucumbers. Pepinillos. Do... Exactly. Cucumbers is like the, the normal Pepino. one. Pepino. Ajá, correct. And pickles are the baby cucumbers. Oh, okay. So pickles okay, are thanks. pepinillos, like the yes, baby I cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Imagine and fish. <laughs> Rice. This looks like a lunch. <laughs> Fish in the morning. Uh huh. Fish in the morning. Can you imagine? It looks like a lunch, right? It's more like a lunch here. Okay. What about in Mexico? We have eggs, beans, tortillas. You say tortillas, right? We don't say tortillas. It's tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. <laughs> This is very similar, right? Then from El Salvador. Um, but I, except by the tortillas. <laughs> the breakfast is mixed in the United States in Mexico and Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. Look, it's very similar, except by the tortillas. Uno, uno ahí, Tacos is missing, delicious, <laughs> right? Definitely with Bad. chimol, right? <laughs> <laughs> with chili and all that spicy food. Yes. So that sounds yes, yes. Very you delicious. get hungry, it's so delicious. <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> yes. Did you eat dinner? Did you eat dinner already? Yes, Enaro? Did you eat dinner? No. no. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, I'm sorry. After the class. <laughs> yes. Yeah, After the class. Hungry. After the class, you will have dinner. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's check here. Now it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency. Okay. We have adverbs of frequency here. But now we can also check here like uh remember some vocabulary right adverbs of frequency um when talking about food in a short conversation we include like this it says let's have pizza popcorn chocolates and candy when you say let's have is the same as let's eat oh i never eat pizza and popcorn together yeah imagine pizza and popcorn together well, and I hardly ever eat chocolates or candy. Hardly ever. Okay. Let's have pizza. It's the same as saying, let's eat pizza. Hot dogs, grapes, and watermelon. Okay. This is a mix of food. Well, I like grapes, but I don't like watermelon. Let's have 
let's have a hot dogs, for example. Let's have a ice cream. Let's have peanuts, pineapple, potato chips. So all of those. Now, let's observe here that he mentioned albers of frequency. These are the ones that they tell you like a, in the manner that you repeat the action. For example, it says here, I never eat pizza. It means zero times, zero occasions. If you say hardly ever, eh, not very often, almost never. Like casi nunca. This is hardly ever. The other one will be, I don't like watermelon. Let's have. So this will be adverse of frequency. But we can also practice the conversation that we saw on the video. And this one is fish. Fish for breakfast. Like Chinese people, right? Or Japan. We're going to practice it. Yeah, we have conversation between Sarah and Kumiko. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? What do you have is like, what do you eat? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. So the person would like to eat something different, right? That is not usually her breakfast, but likes to eat that. Now, let's check. We're going to practice it. Let's start. Let's see with uh, Edith, Lorena. Let's start with the first one. You're Sarah. Let's have breakfast uh, together on Sunday. To get together? On Sunday. On Sunday. Very good. Jessica Franco, continue. Okay. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese. Japanese. Style. Japanese. Breakfast on Sunday. Thank you. Continue, Renee. Really? Really? What do you how? Very good. That's nice. Ana Beatriz. <coughs> Ana Beatriz. Mm. Yes. Mm. We usually? Usually have fish, rice, and soap. Soup. 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 Thank you. Veronica Cepeda. Fish. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Thank you very much. That's cool. Roxana Guadalupe. Yes. Sometimes. Green tea. Green tea. That's, green tea. Green tea. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Jonathan, continue. Well, well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. But, but I like to try new things. But, but I like to try new things. Very good job. Thank you. Okay. So let's check here. Do you have new vocabulary in the conversation? Vocabulario nuevo? New vocabulary? Uh, teacher. Como, yes. perdón, la palabra jabón con, con mm. sopa se escribe en casi igual. ¿Cómo similar. se pronuncia? Yes, Ajá, for similar. example, sop is right with the one you take a shower. Jabón, sop. sop. The pronunciation is like this, sop. But the one that you drink, the food, is soup. And you pronounce like this. Uh -huh. So, so you have sop like this, sop, uh -huh. uh -huh. soup, sop, soup. La diferencia es la vocal. Aha, uh -huh. is the vowel correct? The pronunciation mm -hmm. that you have. Sop, you take a shower, right? With that sop. Mm -hmm. You drink the food, soup. Chicken soup. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. 
my pleasure. Any other question? More vocabulary? Okay, let's practice it then. We are going to formulate a question like, what do you have for breakfast? I always have fried plantains, beans, and cream. Fried plantains are this. These ones are fried plantains. Platanito frito. So these ones are fried plantains. Beans, delicious beans. And cream. <laughs> yes. Falta el huevo. Típica. Para que esté completo. To be complete. And <laughs> the bread is... also. Yes. <laughs> y me da risa cómo lo dicen los frijolitos, delicious beans. They are so delicious beans. I love them in everything. For example, also the bean soup. Mm, it's so great. With so lemon. Oh, yes. It's delicious. With lemon, um, you put avocado, you put salt, cheese. Agre agregale, agregale uh -huh. el, el hueso de red. Ah, exactly. <laughs> the, the beef. Mm. It has a totally different flavor. Ooh. Teacher, no te da hambre. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Tell me, Miguel. Uh, uh, bone cows. Ah, bone yes. Cows, beer. Yeah, that is true. So you can also include that. And it's different, right? The flavor, mm -hmm. el sabor. So the flavor is different. Yes. Yeah. Estaba viendo de su yes. video este, y le iba a preguntar que cómo es que se dice, cómo se pronuncia aguacate. Ah, avocado. 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 Ajá. So it's not avocado, it's avocado. 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 O aguacero, ¿no? No aguacero. Es avocado. Avocado. Yes. Oh, aguacateiro. Ah. Aguacateiro. <laughs> Aguacateiro. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Eh, con la palabra piña, eh, ¿se pronuncia pineapple o pineapple? Pineapple. It's pineapple. pineapple. Mm -hmm. That's pineapple. Pineapple. It Does comes it from pine. pineapple. Pineapple. It's a fruit. Mm. Let me remind you, I have the fruit here. Where I have the pineapple by here, maybe. I don't have pineapple here. But I remember I used to have a pineapple. The anterior idea. Uh -huh. the house of yes. Exactly. That's the house of SpongeBob, correct? <clears throat> I here you have the pineapple. Look. SpongeBob's house. That's the pineapple, exactly. This fruit. But you can make juice. You can make frozen with pineapple. And it's incredible also. Incredible flavor. All right. Any other question with this? Como se dice este... Grasa. Inglés. Grasa. You can say fat. Mm -hmm. Grasa. Fat, or you can also say grease. Uh, grease. Mm. Grease. Or fat. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Or fat. They are synonyms, actually. Son sinónimos. Just that fat is more common. Fat is más común utilizarlo. Pero son sinónimos. Normally, if you check Pero some products. Pero puede algo está frito. So, ah, then it's fried. It's fried. It's like this. It's, for example, this one. Fried plantains. Platano ah, frito. Fried, fried mm -hmm. tomatoes. Fried potatoes. O sea, todo Apple lo que... Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Fried potatoes. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. Yes? For that reason. Kentucky fried chicken. In general, you can also say fries, mm -hmm. frituras. In general, you can say fries. Teacher, I'm here. Hey, welcome, Adam. Thank you, teacher. Finally, yes. Teacher. <laughs> teacher. Hello, tell me. If you, if you eat and um, breath, 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 every day is more helpful to you. 
it, no sé, oye you bien. have problems, right? I, I, se le escucha cortado. Teacher, tengo una opinión oh. para la situación. I'm sorry? Que, tengo una opinión para la situación de los compañeros. Yes, tell me, tell me. A mí, a mí me pasaba lo mismo con los... Con los con with los, the audios. Ajá. Or con, with the headphones, maybe. Igual, ajá. Entonces, yo solo quité, yo solo quité la PC por eso. Porque yo escuchaba que se escuchaba raro a veces. Entonces, eso hace interferencias entre la señal porque es un cable. Me lo, explicaron, me lo explicaron ahora, sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, mm, ok. Eh, y es recomendable que ellos, pues, si lo pueden escuchar sin... sin, sin, sin Without audio, the cable. Entonces es mejor que lo hagan. Que lo hagan. Disconnected. Ajá, yes, because sometimes the connection. Like, yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Sí, a veces también, sí, ¿verdad? Por el, la señal también interfiere eso, la conexión. That is true. Thank you. Eh. Yo en ese momento le acabo de quitar los audios, no sé si me escucha bien, aunque aquí por aquí está relampagueando, de verdad, no sé si me escucha bien. Todavía se le escucha un poco, ajá, se le escucha más claro, ¿verdad? Tal, tal ajá, vez sí, poco sí, a poco, sí. Se, ahorita sí ya se le escucha más claro, sí. Así yo, es como que a lo lejos así yo había presentido también porque... Una vez, eh, bueno, yo hablando yo así por WhatsApp, también estaba pasando y yo tenía audífono puesto. Uh -huh. Por esa razón, desde que, eh, le doy gracias ahí a la compañera que nos ha recomendado yes. eso, que es mejor. Thank you. Eh, gracias. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ok. All right. You see, technicals, technical things. <laughs> Cositas técnicas, right? <laughs> For some detail. Okay. God. Yes. Okay. Now let's check here. Let's make some practice asking like a, well, what do you have for breakfast? Tell me, Ibis, Ibis, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I, I have, I always. Uh -huh. You can say always, usually, right? Uh -huh. uh, usually, I. I usually, I usually eat, uh -huh. or I usually have eat. Okay, I usually uh -huh. eat. Uh -huh. I usually have, or oh, I usually eat, eat. Uh, pupusas, mm -hmm. uh, pl planting, planting, como se dice, cocidos. Ah, those are uh -huh. cooked. Pero no son fritos, sino cocidos. Ah, then uh -huh. it's boiled, boiled. Cooked. Ajá. Boil, porque van hervidos. Son como cosas hervidas, ajá. Ajá, ajá. ajá. boil. Eh, tamales de lote. Ah, delicious, that's good. Uh -huh. Beans, and, and beans. beans. Very good, thank uh -huh. you, that's good, okay. Uh -huh. Now let's see, María de Los Ángeles, what about you? What do you have for breakfast? I always uh -huh. eat um, milk and cereal. And cereal, ah, that's Temple. good. Ah, so you always have cereal with milk. Delicious, that's very yeah. healthy to start the day. That's right, good one. What about you, Adaliset? What do you have for breakfast? I eat egg okay. and bread with beans. Ah, okay, that is good, nice. Great, that's delicious breakfast. Great, that's nice. What about you, Ana Beatriz? Ada? I'm sorry. Ana Beatriz. No present? Um, T-shirt? Yes. Uh, yes. I eat the uh, egg with... Uh -huh. Um, how do you say frijoles? Beans? 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 Mm -hmm. huh? Cheese? And cheese. Yes. Uh -huh. That's good. Do you accompany it with chocolate, coffee, or what? Um, coffee. All with coffee, right? To get energy. To reanimate yes. with the day. <laughs> Great. Okay. Any question? ¿Cómo se dice saludable en inglés, teacher? Healthy. 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 Health
healthy. Por favor. Healthy. It's like this. Health. Healthy. 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 Ajá, that is correct. Como so con F, ¿verdad? Eh, no, como con Z. La TH junta suena como una Z. Ah, like healthy. <laughs> like this. Sí. So you said healthy. Healthy. Ajá. Healthy. 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 Like this. Healthy. healthy. Entonces la palabra health solo es... Uh -huh. Salud. Solo es, exactly, solo es el nombre. Y healthy es el adjetivo. Is the, the characteristic of the food. If it's healthy. You eat healthy food. I eat healthy food for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, every day. Um, dinner. Uh -huh. For the dinner. Uh -huh. That's correct. So if you observe, we have here the different frequency adverbs. It's like, a, for example, if you have this one, always. My family always. This is a frequency words. It's telling you all the time. Another one will be usually have fish. Usually, like normally. Sometimes, in some occasions. Another one, it will be never, zero times. Zero times. Now, let's check here about the frequency words. Or the adverse of frequency. We have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. And we have the case also sometimes that you can change the position. For example, you can say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Another option would be, sometimes I eat breakfast. In the question, do you ever have fish for breakfast? This ever can mean like alguna vez, normally. Alguna vez comes pescado para el desayuno, right? Yes, I always do. This is short answer with a frequency word. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. So this will be with different repetition of the actions. So let's observe that 100% you have always. Then you have usually. Often, sometimes, hardly ever. Hardly ever, remember, is like casi nunca. So we use it that way. Or never, that is 0%. That's why it's showing here the percentage. Always 100%. So you repeat every day. Usually 80%. Often, often that means a menudo, con frecuencia. That means this one. Also, you can mention it like as sometimes we know that is 50-50, right? 50% de a veces, right? Algunas ocasiones, 50%, hardly ever 25% or never is zero, zero occasions. The formula that we have here is subject plus the adverb of frequency plus the verb. We have the action. And we have the complement. We have an example. I always eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. But the position of the frequency adverb or the adverb of frequency is immediately after the subject. Exception, sometimes. Like you can say, sometimes I eat breakfast. Now that will be with the frequency words. Let's watch the video about this repetition of frequency. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. 
often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100% usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat and the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast with the adverb of frequency sometimes. You may put that at the beginning just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast, just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following, I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, uh, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement. 
fish for breakfast? And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so there we have different type of food and also with the frequency words. But first, we're going to pass the list, guys. Just let me know if you are present. All right, we got the first one, Ada Lisette. Present teacher. Thank I'm you, Ada. Here. Very good, thank you. Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Ana. Angelica Maria. <clears throat> Angelica. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Christian Daniel. I know he told me he could not today. He's absent. Let's see. Christian Daniel. Christian Daniel. Edith Lorena. Present. Yes. Thank you, Edith. Fatima Yesenia. <clears throat> Present, Miss. Thank you, Fatima. Gabriela Abigail. Present, Miss. Thank you, Gabby. Ibis Areli. Present, Miss. Thank you, Iris. Jessica Franco. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Joaquin de Jesus. Joaquin Jesus. Present. Thank you, Joaquin. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai. I'm here. Teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you, Juan. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Then we have Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando. Lenin Monterrosa. Lenin Monterrosa. Present, you, teacher. Thank Lenin. you. Thank you. Liliana Patricia. Liliana Patricia. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Thank you, Luz. Maria de Los Angeles. Eh, Mauricio Alberto. Mauricio Alberto. Miguel Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Olimpia Valeria. Olimpia Valeria. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. Thank you, Oscar. René Alfonso. Present. Yes, thank you, René. Yes. Roxana Guadalupe. 
Present. Thank you, Roxana. Verónica Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Verónica Maricela. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Alexandra. Present. Thank you so much. Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Let's continue here. Okay, so coming back to the frequency words here. Let's go on in these parts. So we have the formula here, and we can also say, right, sometimes I eat breakfast, or another manner, I sometimes eat breakfast. I eat breakfast sometimes. So we have three manners to use sometimes. But normally, the common manner is to use after the subject, like, oh, I sometimes eat breakfast. I sometimes eat lunch. I sometimes eat a hamburger for lunch. So let's check here. We're going to use them. If we ask, sometimes I eat lunch. Veronica Cepeda, can you give us another example? Use sometimes. Sometimes. I sometimes. I eat fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sometimes eat fruit. Eat fruit. Very good, Joe. That's nice. Ibis, give us another example. Okay. Um, I eat breakfast. Um, pardon. I eat um, chocolate mm -hmm. sometimes. 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 Very good job. That's nice. Good. So we have the case of sometimes. What about Oscar? Mm -hmm. Oscar, give us another example. You sometimes. You have three options to say it. Um, I eat beans in the breakfast. Can you repeat, please? Sometimes eat uh, beans in the breakfast. I sometimes eat beans for breakfast. All right, good one. So it beans for breakfast. That's good. Okay, now, if you notice, we also have another type of questions. Like, do you ever have fish for breakfast? That do you ever, alguna vez, right? So it's a yes, no question. So if you ask, like, do you ever have fish for breakfast? We got Different manners. If this is affirmative, you could say, yes, I always do. Like, sí, siempre lo hago. So that is not necessary to include the complete. Like, yes, okay. I always eat fish for breakfast. Not necessary. You can finish in the auxiliary. So that will be a short answer, including the adverb. Right? Sería una respuesta corta, pero incluyendo el adverbio de frecuencia. Yes, I'll always do. Another option. Sometimes I do. Algunas veces lo hago. Sometimes I do. Or if it's definitely zero times, you can say, no, I never do. No, nunca lo hago. Oh, no, nunca eh, eh, como pescado para el desayuno, right? So it will be like that. Another one. You could investigate here. Like to write. Do you ever get, eat snacks for dinner? We know snacks bocadillos, right? All of these ones will be snacks. So that they are good, the snacks. Let's suppose that is affirmative. Yes. I sometimes, usually. or usually, thank you. You can write usually. Yes, I usually. Usually, what else? It, um... Try to give a, like a short yes, answer. I usually do. Do, uh huh. A like short yes, answer. Like do. More practical, like more practical. Yes, I usually do. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. What about if you use sometimes? Right. Sometimes. Is I here? Do. Sometimes I do. Very good. Sometimes I do. I do. Another possibility would be yes. 
I sometimes, I sometimes do. This is another manner that you can use. Sometimes I do, or yes, I sometimes do. If it's negative. No, I never do. No, I never do. That's correct. I no. never do. I never do. So that will be never with do. a short, with a short answer. Now let's formulate more. Rene, tell me, do you ever eat grapes for breakfast? Do you? Do you ever eat grapes for breakfast? Do you? Affirmative or negative? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I. Yes, I ever. Yes, I. It can be always, uh, usually, Usual. often. Usually? Usually. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Usually? Usually. 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 Mm -hmm. Do. Yes? Do. I usually do. Yes, I usually do. Very good. That's nice. Edith, do you ever eat crisps? Crisps, they are like a, a, if you say fried potatoes, right? Or potato chips. Do you ever eat potato chips for dinner? Uh, no, I never do. I never do. Excellent. That's good. <clears throat> Let's see, Jessica Franco. Do you ever eat, um, let me see, lasagna for breakfast? Uh -huh. I never do. No, I never do. Very good. That's nice. Veronica Alegría. Do you ever eat um, hamburger for lunch? Yes, I, I always do. I always do. That's very good. Nice. Okay. Excellent, guys. Now, let's check here. We have the exercise in the platform. In the one you need to put in order. So, like here, right? They are in this order. It's like here. I, ne uh, I never have breakfast on weekends. What about this one? This is in disorder. What will be the correct one? Uh, sería uh, uh -huh. I work it. I remember. No, I, you need uh, frequency no, I words. Hardly uh -huh. ever. I, uh -huh, I that's have, good. I, I hardly know. ever eat. Action. Eat. Uh -huh. eat. Uh, it's max, nice, right? Snack. And Max? Work at work. work. Excellent. Work. Very good job. That's nice. No me puede ayudar con la última de esa. The last one. Okay, just that I, I don't have it here. Solo que no la tengo acá. Pero es de este, ¿verdad? 4.9. Sí. Vaya, la voy a verificar y se la, eh, se la voy a explicar más tarde. Oye. Y okay. le envío la captura. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Ok, so it's just to put in order. Este ejercicio es para ponerlo en orden. Recordemos que va a ir primero el sujeto, luego el frequency word or frequency adverb. Then you have the action, luego el verbo y luego el complemento. Porque acá están en desorden. La primera y la sí. última dio combate, pero ya la, la, la segunda sí fue más fácil. <laughs> ok, ajá, it's to put in order. Es para ponerlo en orden. Pero le voy a explicar el orden de la última entonces y se la le envío ahí la explicación. Esa no la entendía yo che, tampoco. Ajá. Es para Creo ponerla que... en orden. Ah, o sea. Porque de, como lleva ejemplo, estructura. Ajá. I always. So it's like here, right? Yo asimilé que era de ponerle palabras o de agregarle. Uh -huh. So it's the frequency. No como so... lleva frequency words agregadas, deben de ir antes del verbo. I always eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. Ya, mis, lo acabo de resolver. <laughs> you can do it? Yes? No problem? Sí, sí, okay, sí, sí. excellent. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Solo vamos a seguir la estructura. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Okay. We continue tomorrow.
Como solo seguir okay. las formas para poderlas ah, ordenar. Sí. Exacto, vamos ah, okay. a seguir acá Gracias. la estructura. Solo recordemos que sometimes sí nos puede variar, ¿verdad? Puede ser de tres maneras, pero de las tres formas que lo coloquemos, la plataforma lo tiene que aceptar porque las tres formas son correctas. En el caso okay. de sometimes, pero las demás, adverse of frequency, esas sí llevan después del sujeto y antes del verbo. Mm -hmm. yes. Perfecto. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, teacher. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have Bye. a good night. Good night. Take good night. care, everyone. I'll see you good tomorrow. Night. Have a good night. Take care. Good Have night, a good teacher. night. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow.